Hey there, thanks for watching. It's Mark coming at you with a long awaited track review. Uh, made it out today to Hannah Creek MX for the first time. It's in Honore, Inore, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but E N O R E, South Carolina. So uh, it's all right off of 26, uh, Spartanburg County, kind of between Columbia and Spartanburg. Um, for me in Columbia, it's, it's about 50 minutes for me, so it's nice driving distance. I've been wanting to come here for a while, and the tracks, uh, just between my schedule and weather and whatever, um, just hadn't had a chance. But I've been watching videos, uh, there's a few videos out there on it, but I thought I'd give a little bit more more of an in-depth look at the, the track and uh, my impression of it. Um, so I made it up there today, and they've uh, gotten a fair amount of rain, well, not enough fair amount of rain like recently, but there was moisture in the soil. So he does a nice uh, light prep. So if you're uh, like a vet guy like me or a beginner and you don't want to have ruts up to your foot pegs, um, it's a really nice prep. I mean, it just, um, they had moisture in it, but it was, you know, just you could instantly go out and ride and start finding lines. And the other thing that was neat about it is it's a red, you know, it's clay. So when you have a little bit of moisture and you have clay, you have like infinite traction. And just the more I rode it, and the more you just start trusting it, uh, it's just a blast to ride on the, that soil. You know, even if you didn't have any of the other cool stuff that I'm gonna tell you about. So. Uh, in the videos I saw, it seemed, you know, you couldn't really tell from the videos how much elevation there was. But the track actually, it slopes off down a hill. And, it, you know, most trackside videos, you can't even see a lot of the track. But, yeah, it slopes down this big hill on one side and kind of a smaller, steeper hill on the, on the back side. So the track has a lot of elevation changes. And, um... I, I dig elevation changes. I think it's just fun. It, it rewards form. It's just it just makes things way more interesting, and it you know puts a little more work on you too, right? When you're going up a hill and you're having to either have the right technique or enough strength to, to get by. So that <clears throat> that part was really cool. Um, good terrain, great dirt. I mean, honestly, as much elevation changes as, as I would really want. So really enjoyed that part uh, talk a little bit about the obstacles I talked to the track owner Tim for a while you know his goal is to have a track that's just fun and safe uh, he's not trying to make a you know do or die um, great big crazy jumps uh, things that are going to get people hurt whatever um, so I, I'd say it took me two sessions to get really comfortable to where I had everything you know dialed really dialed the way that I wanted it to but the jumps are a lot of fun, and it it has a lot of jumps. But you know, a lot of them are just you know smaller little doubles. Um, there's you know there's plenty of tables. There's some uphill like kind of like you're in an off camber and coming around the off camber at the bottom, and then you have to go up and jump a jump at the top. So, but it's all tables. Um, you know, there's no like steep gap doubles or anything like that. So you can just go out and kind of feel them out and get gradually across them. But man, it was uh, it was technical, and I I dig that. Uh, you know, for me, if you got good good clay and technical jumps and elevation, like that's like my happy place. So uh, I had a blast riding on it, and then one section I, I want to talk about there's a kind of a section that runs along the pit road and it's a downhill and you do there's like kind of a small double and then there's a little another small double after it but it has there's kind of a lip off you know about another 20 feet past the, the down ramp of that double so you basically hit the little one and then you float way out over the next one and then you're on the ground you compress and then you go right back into another downhill table and then another downhill table and so the whole time it, it just feels like if you're getting over that knuckle it feels like a roller coaster you're just like floating down the hill just like this and it's all like one 
feels like it's almost one big smooth motion. And, you, and so you got four jumps down a hill, and there's a little bit of turn in it. So you know that third one, you're you know, whip, whipping out a little bit probably. Um, that thing, stuff like that, just that like I dig that. That's just so fun for me. And um, every time I did that section, I was probably had a big grin on my face. So. <laughs> Um, that was a lot, just a lot of fun. I put down a lot of motos today, and uh, it took me a while to really get comfortable to where I could decide, because the track has so many uphills, downhills, and everything, so my inclination was to try and stand up a lot, and, uh, you know, after a couple sessions, I'm like, there's no way I can do this, because I, I could probably stand up around, you know, almost all of that track is what I would like to do, but physically, you, you smoke yourself trying to do that. <laughs> And so I had to kind of make myself start finding places where I could, you know, seat bounce stuff and sit down more and kind of conserve some energy. And once I got that dialed in, I was able to put down some, you know, some pretty long motos. But um, uh, last thing, uh, so dirt track elevation uh, facilities. Uh, it is a practice facility, so you know, there's not a big, um, there's not a big. Uh, infrastructure there right so you you know there's no um, you know hard math rooms or the pits are fairly small too so you know it's the, the, I don't I don't think there's any intention for this to become you know like a racing track but for practice I really liked it um, that was just a good blend of being safe and and fun and then most importantly I mean and this is the oh, this is the important part, right? It flowed. It's a lot of tracks, um, you know, you get something that's safe and then all of a sudden maybe it, it you're not kind of, it's it's too safe, it's too easy, I don't know. But for, for me, you know, plus 40, or I guess plus 50, intermediate, slow expert, whatever, whatever I am. Um, that was this track really felt like the sweet spot to go out and just throw down some laps and I think uh, I was out there with some you know younger kids and they seem to be having fun too um, you know if you're if you're on the path to Loretta's and you know you need to be doing ultra deep prep tracks and long ruts and stuff like that you know uh, you know that this isn't that but at the same time uh, there's there's plenty to learn here, I think, for pretty much any rider, and, and it's always good to break things up, too. So, again, I'm really happy to get out there, and I'm 100% going to make this part of my regular uh, practice rotation. It was just a lot of fun. So, with that, let me uh, let me throw out one of these motos that I did today, and, uh, you know, just uh, remember that you can't really see the elevation usually from from the videos but a lot of these jumps you're like jumping down a pretty steep hill into a turn over a knuckle I mean it, it was cool it was technical so what a fun track to ride during Supercross season right anyway check out the video and thanks for watching